Hello everyone and welcome back to one of these quick tutorials using Unreal Engine 4. So in that tutorial we are talking about how to make your game cross-platform. Uh, basically I'm not going to say how to make it cross-platform but how to detect the platform so it, you can apply some changes. So basically in some platforms you are going to use let's say ads and some platforms you are going to initialize the Steam SDK. Windows, Mac, or Linux. In some platforms like consoles, you are going to use, uh, let's say, a high bully, or you are going to use uh, different settings or different shaders for the screen effects. So, knowing what current platform is going to change in your gameplay and going to change in your game itself. So, let's make a quick project. Let's keep it with any name here and let's create an empty project. So, relauncher, I don't need you. So, let's make a platform here. Uh, sorry, let's make a, let's make a blueprint here, and it's based on actor or whatever something. So it's very simple, very straightforward to know what's a current platform. So here in start function, sorry, let's call begin play. We just call platform name and it return us with a string and let's print this to the screen so save run let's put a copy of this here and let's run it says Mac if you can see it is Mac so yeah if it's Windows it would return Windows if it's uh, iOS or it return iOS or whatever it will return this thing but this it's not that the best way to make use of this um, maybe maybe you you want to to check this in several blueprints so you don't have to make the same thing on all the platform and all the blueprints or you don't have to check on again on all the platforms so you can find this value and store this value in public string or you can store store it in enumeration or enum as some people do so you can basically come here and let's make a blueprint oh sorry and make an enum which i believe it's somewhere in here enumeration and let's call it current platform and you give basically here let's say windows and let's add iOS for example and let's say Mac and Android Android and let's see this. so we have now an enum for this value so we we come here and make a variable of this enum type so let's call it uh, my platforms and this type is current platform so yeah so i'll break this here this print string break it right now and just stay with get platform and then let's make a string here, call it BFRM for platform, for example, and this is a string. So we come here, we set P, yeah, PFRM, we set the value, so we, we get here the platform and store its value as a string. Then to use this value we start to compare some stuff so how can we compare so we come here to this string and let's say okay okay let's get this current let's get it and let's say first I want to print to the screen just to inform myself inform the player if I have to yeah or inform my testers if I have to also so I print this message and then I'll be using this to compare. If this one equals, uh, let's check here, we have Windows, iOS, Mac and Android. Okay, if this one equals Windows and then if it's equal 
Android. If it's equal iOS and of course I have a Mac here because that's my case. So if it's equal this and this and that so with each one I will add an if statement or as it's called here branch. So after printing the message I will check if it's equal Windows I will do something. If it's not equal Windows I will check if it is equal Android. If it's not equal Android, I will check is if it's equal iOS. If it's not equal iOS, I will check if it's equal Mac. And if it's not equal Mac, I can do uh okay, let's print the message. Uh call it none, for example. So what exactly I'm going to do here related to this enum? So I will be setting the value of this enum. So I get my platform and set. So if it's Windows, which is the first case, I'll set to Windows. If it's Android, I will set here to Android. And if it's iOS, I'll set here to iOS. And finally, if it's Mac, I'll sit here to Mac. And finally, I, I already have set this this uh, value. I'll get my variable here, and let's switch switch variable. So yeah, get those here, all of them connected, and switch. So. If it's Windows, okay, initialize this SDK for ads. If it's iOS, initialize this SDK for ads, whatever. Uh, or, or let's make it with inputs. This is a huge difference. So let's say, okay, let's say here, keyboard. It means there is keyboard, for example, or touch. So let's take this boolean and set to true. And another one to false. So let's say if it's when it's Windows, we set here to true. iOS we set to false. Android we set to false. Mac we set to true. So yeah, this is how you manage making the platform ability more professional. So when you start the game or whatever, whenever you want to check this, you get the platform name, which is a function with Unreal Engine, and then you set this to as a local string and then you comparing this local string to the names you have already in your enum or the names that sorry you compare this string with the names that can be returned from here and then you start checking if it's true you start setting our enum here which is based on this enum values and finally we start using these values making a use of it i hope it was useful for you and i'm sure you are going to use it the reason behind using an engine like Unreal Engine that you can make a game and then with the click of a button you can deploy this game for several platforms so you definitely need to know how you can handle such a thing because the majority of people I saw in the forums they are making a game for a specific platform so who's making a game for iOS and Android he have no intention to send this game for Windows or Mac or Linux or even he have no intention to start you building this engine this game for uh, a console and the other way around the people who are making games for uh, Windows and Mac or have no intention to build these games for iOS or Android so that's the reason that's a sense of using an engine like Unreal Engine yeah it's because it's a very powerful engine but also because it's cross-platform I hope you enjoy it and See you next time. See you. Bye.